Hello everyone, this is Diable20, and welcome to episode 150, holy cow, that's a lot of episodes, of Diable20's Let's Play series. This may be the longest Let's Play I've ever done, isn't it? I feel like it's pretty much... If it's not the longest ever, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Uh, last episode we played with Tinkers a bit, uh, and we got ourselves a little blaze farm going here. I've got some Molten Blaze cooking. This is actually uh, the second container I've got. I'm going to go ahead and boop that so that he stays full. This area is chunk loaded. The spawner is set to spawn even when players aren't nearby, so we should get a lot of Molten Blaze on account of that. Um, and I placed a new tank there because I have accumulated a decent amount of Molten Blaze right here. Uh, I've got a little over 10 buckets, uh, so I'm just going to get a quick advanced mechanical pipe. That should be fine. And you know what else I probably want? You know what else I probably want is... Where is he? Where is he? There he is. The configurator. Zoop. Nice. So we've got Molten Blaze in here, a temperature of 1500 degrees Celsius. So that's what I'm going to need in order to make these two types of metal, hepatizin ingots and manulin ingots. So the goal in today's episode is to get these two things made. The reason I want to do this is I want to just check these out. Um, if you flip through the book, these are basically your best materials that you can make. Uh, the hepatizin being best for mining because it has a mining speed of 10, uh, really good durability as a mining speed multiplier on the handle of 1.4 and then it's got the momentum attribute mining blocks increases your speed as long as you keep going so I'll probably make a pickaxe and a hammer just to check them out um, you know see what they're like and then I would like to check out manulin um, this guy has the best attributes for attack because it has a, an attack damage of four, which I think is the highest. I'll double check that. But then you use the handle, you get a, a damage modifier of 1.4x. Um, and then you get this insatiable attribute, which is during combat, you deal more and more damage every time you hit an enemy. So that's pretty cool. I might just double check. Let's see, attack four and mining speed 10. Are there any book or any items in the books that are going to be better than that? I doubt it. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to check, right? It doesn't hurt to check. So these are your tier 3 materials. So attack 4 and mining speed 10. I'm not seeing anything better. Rose gold has a slightly higher mining speed. Um, cool. And you get a bonus upgrade from it. So, I mean, that's not bad. But it's mining level is only iron. So that's kind of a bummer. So we'd have to use a... An attribute there to to make that a little bit better uh, we'd have to like add I think diamond to it in order to be able to mine diamond Electrum has a mining speed of 11 so a little bit faster and you get the XP bonus from it but you don't get the faster mining from the attribute thingy so yeah we'll see so I mean there's slightly better attributes on that but it's very slightly and I don't see anything that does more damage um now also people commented on the video last episode that lapis should work for luck so we're gonna try that today and see what happens we're gonna do our best um we'll see what happens with luck maybe it'll work out maybe it won't we'll see uh so so i've already got on on jei here in the top left i've got my hepatizin and my manulin ready to go let's start looking at this stuff shall we so um let's start with hepatizin let's do the mining attributes first so in order to get that uh we're going to need some copper so two copper one cobalt and one block of obsidian uh and the same for manulin manulin is uh netherite ore i think yeah or the molten debris stuff that that stuff yeah and then the molten cobalt. So I don't think we've got any cobalt yet. Is that an accurate statement? Um, but what I do have is a digital miner. And what we could do is F3H, turn on advanced tooltips. So you are forge ores cobalt. Cool. Um, and I've got my flux point ready to go here. So let's pop into the nether. Now I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that where my blaze spawner mark two is, also happens to be new terrain gen. 
right? Like, we generated this terrain anew, I believe. I believe. Oh my goodness, there's just so many dudes here. This area, for some reason, just has a lot of mob spawns. That's all I'm saying. So let's configure this guy. New filter. Tag. Forge ores. Cobalt. Cool. Beautiful. And start. You're gonna get a lot of nether quartz, probably. That's fine. I've got a few rats left. At some point, I will get more rats. I think I saw the word cobalt. So I feel like there was definitely some that showed up there. We'll let the nether quartz flow in because we're probably a little bit low on it, but I'll probably remove nether quartz from the filter for the next pass, if we even need a next pass. What I'm gonna do is go home, figure out how much cobalt we got, and see if we need to come back for more. So now, cobalt, we've got 25. That should be enough. That should be good for now. I feel like that's cool, right? I don't need that air sigil no more. I've got great flight back. You know what else I could probably put away is my spell book. Yeah, I think that's good. I'll hang on to these three just in case we decide we need more cobalt, right? Um, so hepatizin, as a reminder, I should add the liquid form of these guys. I'm gonna do that manualin, just because it'll save me a few clicks when I'm remembering what the ratios are. Cool. Uh, so hepatizin is one obsidian, one cobalt, two copper, right? So we're gonna want a decent amount of that. Um, so let's get eight and 16. That sound cool. And I'm gonna melt down, well, I'll save it. I'll do that. That seemed cool. Nice, look at it go. Awesome, awesome. I love it. So copper's already done, which is cool. Cobalt's moving pretty quickly and obsidian's a little bit slower, obviously, but not terribly so. And that should get us hepatizing. Do, 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 do. Nice. Nice. That's cool. Am I wrong? Was I wrong on the ratio there? I thought it was the same amount of one ingot of cobalt to two ingots of copper. Oh, because I didn't put ingots of cobalt in there. I put cobalt ore and it ore doubles. Right. You know, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, why do we have extra cobalt? I thought I mathed that correctly. But no, remember, you get two ingots per cobalt ore because the, the smeltery will ore double for you. Sweet. All right, cool. So we've got molten hepatizin. Now let's get ourselves um, some casts, right? So I think all the casts here should be you just take any ingot and pour an ingot of gold over it and you get the cast, right? So we're going to want the following cast. We're going to want the pickaxe head. Um, we're going to want the rod, we're going to want the binding for sure. We're going to want a large plate cast, um, tool handle, because this one's going to be for like the hammer, right? We also want the hammer, speaking of it. Uh, we also want the sword blade eventually, probably the standard sword blade and eventually the, the big one. <clears throat> And then where's the binding? This would be tool binding right here. That should be cool. Okay. I like it. That'll be good enough for now. So what we want to do is basically get some cobble and be ready to make these things. Did I leave cobble in here? Oh, good job, me. Good job, previous me. I did good. So handle, tough handle, right? Uh, do, 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 plate. Hammer, sword blade, large blade, binding, pickaxe head. Cool. And then we're going to want some gold, of which we have a lot now, which I like. And gold melts pretty fast, if I remember correctly. Interesting. If you close and reopen the UI, it fixes the little progress bars. That's good to know. All right, so now we put our stone handle. I'm assuming that this works the same way as it did in the past. Boop, boop. Cool. 
And I think there's a cast chest that we can make. Uh, we need some more seared brick. Really? Can't you make seared brick out of like just cobblestone? Oh, entities make it? Look at that. Guardians and silverfish make seared stone. That's cool. That's cool. Can cobblestone still make it? That was my main question. It looks like no. It doesn't look like it. It looks like you can melt down other seared components and you can use grout, but I don't see cobblestone as a valid component in there. Okay, so let's just get ourselves some grout. Another stack will do. And then we also want a gold cast. So what I'm going to do is throw one more piece of gold in there. Just to have an, enough for all the things I want. But then I should be able to just dump out the gold and get the cast. And that'll be good for the cast chest. Perfecto. Cool? I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's make the rest of the tools. Boom. I really like the uh, the melting animation. Like, that is cool, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Like, like the solidifying animation has already always been cool, but I feel like it's better now. Doesn't it feel better? I might be crazy, but I feel like it's better. Okay. So there's all the casts we're going to need, and I assume that gold casts are still last forever kind of deal. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so first thing we're going to make is the regular pickaxe. So we're going to need the tool handle, the binding, and the pickaxe head. Okay. And then we're going to just boop, and that's going to get it for you. Nice. Easy peasy. liking it. And there's your hepatizing pickaxe. So what we want to do is we want to say I want a pickaxe. So it's going to be you, you, and you. Perfect. Piercing 2. Tool deals bonus damage, which attacks through armor. Oh, that's neat. And momentum. Not fast enough? Gotta go faster. So mining level is netherite. Mining speed is 14. Holy cow, bananas. Three upgrades available and one ability available. Oh, that's interesting. There's a difference between upgrades and abilities. I remember reading-ish about that. Right? Difference between upgrades and abilities. Where was the book? Where is the book? Upgrades. Standard improvements by a tool. What's an ability? Yeah, I'm not sure what abilities is. Let's try the lapis though, because that's the first thing I want to know. I want to know if lapis works. We're going to get stacks of it. We're going to put our tool in there and then we're going to throw lapis in. Aha, it does work. It does work. Look at that. Okay. So I'll throw, gives you more nice things when killing mobs. Okay, cool. So I do that, it's gonna use, you know, as much lapis as it needs to. Now I assume that you've now got upgrades three. So that used an ability. Aha, okay. So 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 fortune wasn't a luck level cannot be above one. Okay, cool. Just curious if uh yeah, I, I mean I didn't think so. I assumed not, but it was worth trying. It was worth trying a little bit. Um, what other modifiers would I want to put on this thing besides redstone? Like, redstone will make it faster, right? Uh, is there anything else I care to put on this thing? Uh, diamond increases durability and is, like, a nice upgrade. So does emerald. Um, more experience. Nether looks pretty cool. Requires diamond or emerald to be applied. All right, I'm going to give this thing a try as it sits right now real quick. 
Uh, where can I go? I'm just gonna... I wonder if that upgrade that makes it so that, you know, pickaxes can break. That was a thing that existed, right? So let's see how fast this is, right? That's what we got going on right now. Now, this one, don't forget, is enchanted, right? We can't enchant these, I don't think. Uh, probably not. Modifiers. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. There's a modifiers JEI integration. Okay, that's neat. Auto smelt. Bucketing. Yeah, that's cool. Expanded. Ah, yeah, okay. Gilded. Trades an ability slot for two upgrade slots. Interesting. Hey, look, luck is on here. Okay, that's neat. Requires one ability slot to apply. So a lot of these require ability slots. Okay. Interesting. Hey, look, Silk Touch is on there too. I don't remember that being in the book. And then these guys are modifier slots. Oh, no, no modifier slots are required. So these ones don't need modifier slots. So these are, um, these add upgrades, right? Okay, hold on. Adds, allows an additional upgrade to live in harmony. The head of the great beast allows your tool for a second ability slot. Oh, you get a dragon head, you can have another ability slot? That's cool. The book didn't have a lot of these. That's cool. So these ones don't need any slots. They just work as is, right? No modifier slots at all. Um, that's another upgrade. I still don't understand the difference between, you know, getting one and restoring it, but eh, we'll figure it out. No modifier slots are available. And these guys require modifier slots. Okay, cool. That's neat. So there's a difference between upgrades and abilities. That's what I'm figuring out now, right? And and the tooltip here in JEI will tell you if it's a modifier slot that it needs to have or an ability slot. So I think modifiers are in the book, but abilities may not be. All right, let's see how fast this thing is. That's pretty on par, isn't it? That is pretty on par. Um, now I can easily come over here, grab some redstone, and pop this dude on here. So that's going to be... So that's currently got hastier, and he's got one upgrade slot available. Right? So I'm just going to throw as much haste on this as I can. Because I don't think there's much else you want on a pickaxe. Like, basically you just want to mine fast. That's what you want. That definitely seems faster, right? I think at this point it's a little bit faster than the flux board. Now, in fairness, the flux board is really fast. So, when we say a little bit faster, we mean very little bit. I could throw a little more redstone on there. Hastiest. Neato. Yeah, so there's definitely going to be diminishing returns. Like, you can only go so fast at some point, it's going to not be worth getting. Um, but there's no real other upgrades you'd want on that thing. So that's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Hepatize and pickaxe. Neato. Let's try the hammer now next. So I think in order to do the hammer, though, or do we want to do the sword? No, we'll do the hammer. That's what we'll do. Uh, so I assume that this thing needs to be upgraded at some point. No? And how do I get the... How do I get the things for the things? Um, where's that tier 2 book? Was it in Mighty Smelting? Uh, let's see. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, sledgehammer, sledgehammer. Are you going to show me how to make these? No, not really. All right, so tinkers. There's got to be the tool forge kind of equivalent here, I would think. Because um, we've got the part builders and the and the crafting station and the tinker station and all that stuff. 
Um, but these are just different planks, right? Different tiers, so it shouldn't make a difference. Um, is there a a tool forge? I'm not seeing it, right? Is it maybe the anvil? Do we need the tinker's anvil to make those things? Or is this just a regular old anvil? I would imagine that's just a regular old anvil. Uh, let me see. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, maybe it's the anvil now, because, and I'm wondering what the difference is between all the anvils. Um, like, is there a difference or are they just cosmetic? So I decided to make Electrum because it's probably like the cheapest one by far. And I just noticed that we have a ton of silver that's not being processed because I presume, and I double checked and this is true, silver does not um, go into this dude or this dude, right? Uh, just, no, it doesn't quintuple. So there's no quadruple or quintupling of silver. So uh, let's just side config this to be input on top. And then we can put silver ore in here and it should work. Yes, we just want some stack upgrades to happen, I think would be cool. So that you're a little bit faster. Now we're cooking. Silver for days, awesome. Now if I wanted Electrum, we could make 30 of those. That'll come over here and happen, right? You've got pretty fast, pretty fast. Cool. Your importer could use a speed upgrade or two as well, you know. Just make 10, why not? Doesn't hurt. There you go, okay. So Electrum Anvil is going to need Thermal blocks of Electrum or immersive engineering blocks of Electrum? Look like they're not or dictionary. Or maybe maybe Tinkers just recognizes them as being different-ish. All kinds of seared stuffs. Okay, we're gonna have to do this a different way. Okay, so now Electrum Anvil. Cool, let's give this thing a try. I mean, this might be how you get the tier two stuff. Oh yeah, it totally is. Okay, yeah, that's 100% the replacement for the Tinker Station. Okay, 100% the replacement for the Tinker Station. That's neat, okay, look at that. It's the old, it's this thing, it's the, it's the same setup. That's awesome. All right, cool, so hammer is still two plates and the thing, right? Um, and I assume that it's also the heavy dude there. Tough handle, yep. So we're gonna want a tough handle, we're gonna want two plates and a head cast. Now, plates and head casts I assume are still eight. So let's let's put the let's put the head cast in there. Molten hepatizin. I assume that's still eight, right? So what we'll probably want is um, eight more obsidian. And 16 more copper to make ourselves some more, yeah, molten hepatizin. Right, okay, so that's that. You can do that. And then we need two more hammers. Or two more plates, I mean, right? Two plates. One hammer, two plates. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah, we should have enough of that. That should be enough. One block, four ingots? Really? Is it four ingots per plate now? It is! Okay! Four ingots per plate now rather than eight. Haha, -ha, today we learned. That's cool. Alright, so now if I want you... You're gonna do that, that, this, and this. Cool. And there's your hepatizing hammer. Neat. All right, so I probably don't want to put luck on you, but I probably definitely want to put redstone on you. Yeah. So 
so haste. Oh, you only have two upgrade slots? Okay. And you've got smite on you for some reason. Why do you have smite? Oh, he just does. That's what he does. So hastier. Um, so if we want another, we can check it in here. I think the ones that are going to add this. Creative ability one. Tool sits on unearned extra ability slots. Okay. So that's another ability slot. These are creative, though. These are creative ones. So the dragon ad will give you another ability slot. Uh, music disc will give you an upgrade. A head will give you an upgrade. And the end crystal will give you an upgrade. And a book and quill will give you an upgrade. Right? Do Wither Skeletons count? Yes. Good. So we've got these guys. So all these things give you extra upgrades, which is cool. And then this one gives you another ability slot, which is neat. Um, so let's see. Do we have a Wither Skeleton head? We have tons of them, right? Yes. So I should be able to do this. This gives you another upgrade, right? Upgrades one now. And then I can throw my last level of hastiest stuff there. I like that. Okay, and then if I decide I want more upgrades, easy peasy, right? So let's go check out this 3x3 three three hammer. Now, also, if we wanted, uh, so let's see, auto smelt, bucketing, tools area of effect is larger than before. That's, a, that's an ability. I might want to try that, right, with this. So I think we still have an ability slot we could use. Okay, that's probably what we want. So we'll do that in a minute, but let's see what we start with. Wow, that's nice and fast. Holy cow, that's fast. That is that is very fast and very nice. But I want to see how how area of effecty we can get, right? So uh, first off, we're going to want so congealed icor. Okay, two fire. No, that's 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 auto smell. Hang on. So we want tinker's bronze two pistons and two Iker bars. Okay, so piston times two. So how do we get Icor? Let's see, so that's from congealed Icor. I guess this is a nether slimy. Yeah, I think that's probably nether slimy. Okay, and then Tinker's bronze is three copper and a glass. Let's make it over here just to be a little bit quicker. Right? So three copper and a glass. And that'll make you your Tinker's Bronze. Cool. Now let's go check the nether for that Icor stuff. So remember, new terrain gen was by the blaze spawner. So we're gonna fly around in this general area looking for what I assume would be a slime island of sorts. And I'll keep an eye both on my mini-map and in the world because, uh, you know, the nether and the mini-map is sometimes a little tricky. Now let's make sure that whatever direction I'm flying, we should fly north-ish because that seems to be the new terrain gen area. Yeah, why not? North-ish. And we're looking for a slime island in the nether. So it looks like to get from 3x3 three three to what I assume is 5x5, five five, you're gated by the nether. And then there's another ability slot you can get. Um, and my assumption there is that might get us up to 7x7 seven seven mining. And that's gated behind the dragon. Which I like. That's cool. That's cool. I like both of those. I would be all about playing Tinkers from an earlier stage, for sure. So looking on the map, I see a sphere, or a circular thing. So I'm going to try and head for that direction. It doesn't look terribly easy to find my way to, but maybe we can do some hammery things to help out. Now that's interesting. So the Tinker's Hammer, when it encounters harder materials, I like that actually because it means that I can then switch to my 
fortune pick to break the break. But wow, look how fast that is. I love that. So I don't know if it's just like a roundish kind of like lava, or if it's a or if it's a thing, but I'm heading for it one way or another. We're gonna see what we can see. It looks to be like right here-ish, like right here-ish. Oh my goodness, it's just a round lake of lava. Rip. Rip, I was really hoping that that was a slime island. I was really hoping that that was like a Icor slime island thing. Just looking on the map to see if there's anything else. Like, didn't that, doesn't that look exactly like a slime island would? No, it just happens to be a very perfectly spherical roundish kind of lake. Alright, I'm going to head back to our base real quick. And we're going to try that again. I'm just going to pop back to the nether, pop back to the the place, the, the blaze spawner mark 2, just because that's a quick way to new terrain jump. And head, like, east-ish and see what we got on that direction. And again, keeping an eye both in-world and on the mini-map. There's got to be a slime island around here somewhere. I wonder if there's specific biomes they spawn in now. No idea. I'll look for a bit and come back when and if I find one. Found one! Hello, slime island. Took a while, actually. Not, not particularly easy to find, and lots of magma cubes. All the magma cubes, actually. Now, this is, is this a new type of slime tree? Because I could have sworn I got all the slime trees. Maybe I did not. And what kind of what kind of liquid is this? Do you have a bucket on me? I do have a bucket on me. What kind of liquid is this? Magma cream bucket. Okay, that's cool. What's magma cream do? Uh, it's got a temperature. It's got heat properties. That's cool. It alloys into Molten Queen's slime. Or you can turn it into magma blocks. Sweet. Or, or okay, that's neat. Now, where do we get it from? Uh, magma cubes can make it, or we can melt these. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I was just curious. It doesn't look like it voids items, which is nice. So congealed ichor and congealed blood is what we're getting here. And I'm I'm assuming that it's fair to say that we can just use this, and it's no different. So blood shroom stems, huh? And slimy wart. Interesting. So let's put some of this stuff away. That we don't super need at the minute that we are currently at. Slimy wart. Blood shroom. Oh, is that a new type of tinker's shroom? It is. Look at that. It is a new type of shroom. What do I have? What's going on? Slowness. What's causing slowness on me? Ow. Is it you? Are you causing slowness on me? I can imagine you being the type of person to cause slowness on me. How rude. Neat, though. I like it. It didn't occur to me to look for shrooms. And yes, Icor Balls dropped. Icor Balls totally dropped from these trees. So just like, just like the trees, you can potentially get Icor Balls from the shrooms here. That's cool. That's cool. And they will get you, oh, coagulated blood. Oh, that's interesting. Because it's dropping Icor Balls, but if you put it in a... In the thing, it's dropping coagulated blood. That's weird. 
All right, let me harvest all this stuff. What I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. Uh, we'll check out applying this. Hey, we defended an attack. I didn't even know there were intruders. Today I learned. Um, we'll, we'll come back next time and uh, check out upgrading the hammers. And then I want to see how OP of a sword I can make. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, so for now, Dollar 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and uh, do more shenanigans and fun. For now, take it easy.